Follow the traces. Explore roots deep. Learn from the past. Futures to reap. Stay tuned for Ching Chiao safety. Detective. Chapter 2, Robbery or Murder Mr. Hu Liang was attacked and killed by unidentified persons at home. As soon as this news came out, it spread quickly among the Chinese community in Laos, like a bolt from the blue, and the Chinese and overseas Chinese around the world were shocked. In fact, just a glance at Hu Liang's rich resume will tell us that such a sensational social impact is no accident. Hu Liang held various significant positions. He served as the fifth president of the Hunan Chamber of Commerce in Laos, a member of the Laos-China Friendship Association, an overseas member of the Hunan Federation of Returned Overseas Chinese, the chairman of the Vientiane Charity Federation, and the chairman of a multinational company. Since the establishment of the Lao Hunan Chamber of Commerce, he has been dedicated to deepening the friendship between China and Laos. His efforts, aimed at benefiting hundreds of thousands of Hunan businessmen in Laos, have transformed him from a business leader, into a philanthropist for Chinese Laos. In the eyes of Chinese businessmen in Laos, Hu Liang has always been a good big brother, passionate about public welfare. While his career continues to develop, he has never forgotten his original intention, and has not hesitated to give back. Despite dropping out of high school, Due to poor family conditions, his talent, diligence, and studious nature shone through. He quickly learned to speak the local language, soon after arriving in Laos, often volunteering to translate, for fellow Chinese businessmen. Moreover, he maintained a strong connection with people in his hometown. Colleagues recall that, when a Chinese shop in Laos was burned down, President Hu immediately extended a helping hand. His meticulous and personal approach to everything he does has earned him everyone's love. After the incident, nearly 20 overseas Chinese federations and chambers of commerce at home and abroad sent messages of condolences to his family and strongly requested the Lao police to find the murderer and uncover the truth. The Chinese embassy also attached great importance to the case, prompting immediate intervention by the local police in Laos for the investigation. By immediately sealing off the crime scene, investigating thoroughly, and collecting evidence, the police quickly grasped some clues. According to forensic identification, Hu Liang was stabbed in the left back, by someone else with a single knife, causing heart rupture and massive bleeding, leading to his death at around 7 am. The investigation revealed, that the windows and doors, of the rooms at the scene were undamaged. The last phone conversation between Lu Fang, Secretary General of the Lao Hunan Chamber of Commerce, and Hu Liang occurred at 6.23 am on that day. Once the time of the crime was deduced, the police immediately reviewed all surveillance footage around the villa area, and conducted investigations one by one. Finally, at 7.15 am that day, two suspicious men were discovered in the area. These two individuals are likely to be connected to this case. Are they the key suspects? If so, how did they enter the villa to commit the crime? On the surface, this appears to be a case of robbery and murder. However, considering the many rooms in the villa, it's noteworthy that, except for the bedroom where Hu Liang was killed, there was no property lost elsewhere. Furthermore, given Hu Liang's extensive involvement, in the business world and complex interpersonal relationships, he may have unintentionally offended people. Hence, the police do not rule out the possibility, that this was a deliberate murder. Unfortunately, despite the Lao police's prompt investigation, there has been no breakthrough in the case, due to relatively backward technical means and equipment. The family members were grieved and depressed. At the memorial service held in Vientiane, people from all walks of life, came to express their condolences. To ensure the deceased could rest in peace, the family urged everyone to lend a helping hand, by providing clues, offering a reward of 1.5 million yuan to find the murderer. Simultaneously, 
they actively cooperated with the Chinese embassy and consulate, reaching out to seek assistance from the Chinese police. After receiving the case report, on August 17, an overseas working group, comprising three-level police forces from the Hunan Provincial Public Security Department, Shaoyang City Public Security Bureau, and Shaodong County Public Security Bureau, flew to Vientiane, Laos, to assist the local police in investigating and solving the case. Upon learning the news, Hu Liang's family finally breathed a sigh of relief, and became more confident in catching the murderer. The situation remains grim. By the time the Chinese rushed to the scene, five days had passed since the incident, and the best evidence-gathering period, to solve the case, had been missed. Many valuable clues, had disappeared or were disappearing. The Chinese and Lao police, also faced difficulties, such as poor language communication, different law enforcement environments, and a lack of resources and means. At this time, in the eyes of the task force, the key breakthrough has not yet appeared. Where will it be? Are there any blind spots in the existing clues? Please stay tuned for the next issue, Detective of Qingxiao Safety.